Hey everyone, this is Colin from Odoo. This is a quick video to show how the multi-company feature works in Odoo along with inter-company transfer. Uh, what we're going to do is first go into the settings and just kind of see how the, the companies are set up. We see that we have uh, company one in this screen. And then in this screen, we have company two with Tom, who is the company two employee. Uh, and if we go into two companies, we see both listed here. And then we see our users per each company. Um, we see employee company two, Tom company two, uh, and they're both associated with company two. And then we have me, CKA, who is associated with company one. And then if we go into them, we'll see uh, what companies they're allowed access with uh, and what rights they have within that company. So what we're going to do is uh, create a sales order uh, and have a reordering rule of zero so that it automatically creates a purchase order. And once we confirm that purchase order, uh, we will have a sales order created in company two. Uh, and this can be set up to uh, also do invoices and vendor bills if you'd rather have it just create an invoice and a vendor bill rather than a sales order uh, and a purchase order. So let's jump in. And specify a customer. Uh, we have Tom Smith Co. here and we'll add our test product. And we see all this stuff is good, and we'll just save that. Um, we could send it out by email, but for the purpose of the demo, we're just going to go in and confirm it. Once we confirm it, we see that it uh, created the delivery order uh, and that the quotation is now a sales order. So we'll go into purchase, and we see our purchase order 2 and the source document. So we see here the vendor is actually company two. And if we click in there, we'll see their address and all that stuff. Uh, and we can confirm this here or uh, send it out by email to that second uh, company. We're just going to confirm it. We see we have that receipt. Now if I go into my other screen for the second company, right here, Tom, uh, company two employee, and we go into our sales application for them. We see we notice that there's uh, no quotations, but we go into orders and we see a sales order seven, uh, and we see the order date and who the com uh, customer was, which was uh, us over at company one. And then we see that it was uh, specified for the product X with the quantity of one. Um, and then from here, it automatically created the delivery for that product. So we see that it created the product for the company one delivery. Um, and then we can validate and send that out. Uh, we can include shipping information, such as with FedEx UPS. Uh, and then once we send it out, our other company, company one, can receive their product.